Okay guys, we're halfway there. Just gotta cross this bridge. Maybe go another 15 minutes. We made it. I'm sweaty. It's cold and sweating at the same time. I don't understand this. All right, guys, this is Urbex TV here on an adventure going to the Carbine Wilson, uh, what is it, uh, some kind of mill. And with me right here is uh, Urbex, Urbex Tail Official. Back here we have a family member. Nadia dot at photography dot com or uh, whatever it is. There you go. <laughs> and of course over here we got Adam. Well, aka uh, Bouncer B. Hello. Did I get you here? Yeah. English, French. Okay. You are standing on one of the Earth's oldest geological formations, the Canadian Shield. Right there. Yes, sir. That's me too. It's a bunch of granite, isn't it? It's all actually these. All these, these are different rocks. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, granite is a bunch of mica, different rocks, right? Mica, graphite, mag... Netic? Magnetite. Magnetite. And, and molly... Mm. Molly bean? Oh, my wow, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Alright, so... I dragged these guys. They came down to visit me. And I was like, let's go visit this place. I haven't been here before. I've seen it many times. A lot of explorers that uh, we've been watching have come here. So I was like, why not? Two and a half hours later, we're here and we gotta hike another 25 minutes to get there. Huh? Don't I support, don't I give or don't I give? <laughs> I don't wanna, do, I didn't wanna do this actually. <laughs> but now we're here now, we're gonna do it. And then after, I'm gonna go and take them back into the city and drop them off to a couple of other places and uh, hopefully they'll get to go back with uh, some video footage for you guys same thing as me and uh, that's it so hopefully you don't run into any wild animals but uh, apparently one of us is slower than the other so I don't know all right see you up there so we made it I'm sweating. It's cold and sweating at the same time. I don't understand this. Oh, look at that. The first sign of a, an abandoned mill. We still have a little ways to go. But we're gonna head down there. Hopefully not die. Bernie's been having a whole time sitting down the hill. Sorry if everything looks really all right guys, we're almost there. Let's go. The rest of the crew is already down there, but as you can see, this is very slippery and my boots are not meant for this. So I have to be very careful. Okay. Uh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Oh, Jesus, whoa! Okay, I'm good. Can you take my hand? Yes, sir. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You go. You're such a gentleman.
All right, fellow Urbexers and followers of the Urbex TV channel, here we are. The um, Carbine Wilson uh, factory of some sort. I gotta look up on the history of this. I didn't get a chance to. But uh, we are here. We're gonna do a little exploring around, give you guys a, a view of this place to get a general idea of what it looks like. If you have any comments below, by all means, let them, uh, let, uh, give me some comments. Let me know what you think of the video. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. All right, so let's go on. gonna go in the tunnel where they've had the turbines this is where I think the turbines were oh I can't get in here with my back on my backpack on my back ah, I'm stuck I'm stuck uh, 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 oh Jesus construction was like. Yeah, See there's cool. more up here too. Huh? We we'll go with the water, we'll come up and then we'll go back in. <sighs> Whew. It's a lot of work doing these the videos, I'm telling you. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go take some photos and I'm gonna go over there down inside take a little more videos and uh, let's see where else we can go where else to lead around this place all right see you in a second gotcha Okay, let's go down and check out down below, like I promised, without breaking my neck. Ah. Whoa. Okay, we did it. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my bones! Where are they gone? They're gone that way. I 
a squeeze. Right. Look at these guys. They're crazy. What's up? You got down here. Yeah? I don't know if back up. Oh. How did he get over there? Oh, he went around to my back? Oh yeah, blackmail. Woohoo! All right. So I guess this was like a, a rerouting system for the water. I don't know what else is down here. Could be like a part of the well. But this is absolutely cool. And with the ice and the winter, well, this winter snow gives this location a little bit more ambiance making it absolutely breathtaking here So, reading here a bit of information about the carbide, it was not the Wilsons. It's actually called the Thomas Carbide Wilson Ruins. That's what it's called. And Thomas Wilson, Wilson in 1860 to 1915 used this place to condense, uh, what was it? He experimented with electric chem chemistry, electrochemistry. I don't know if I'm reading right, the, the text all messed up. Uh, he contains phosphoric acid uh, to produce phosphorus, phosphor fertilizer. Uh, he earned his nickname carbide by developing a method for the production of acetylene, an extremity Flamm extremely flammable gas uh, when dampened with water oh when dampened with water okay so it's a little bit here you can see a little bit of text history a picture of it when it was actually functioning uh, it's very refreshing here a little chilly during the winter but uh, luckily it's a little warm well I think that is it for today we just want, I just wanted to bring you here to this place that I've known about for quite a while. And like I said, a lot of other urbexers have came. And that was the reason why that I wanted to bring uh, Tay Official and Bouncer B here. Um, because it's a, it's a historical place. It's open to the public. It's like a tourist area. So if you wanted to come here, you can. Um, if you want to know more about this place, uh, let me know in the comments section below and I will add you the, the, the directions on how to get here. Um, and, like, and like I always say, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it if you want to see more videos which are coming. And also give it a like so that helps support this channel. And um, most of you out there are probably watching my videos or are not hitting that like button. But you got to hit it. It's got it. It's a YouTube thing that we all have to abide by in order to uh, become so much successful. Don't jump! It's not worth it! She's not gonna do it. She's not gonna do it. No man is worth it! <laughs> oh my god, don't do it! Oh my god! You're gonna do it! 
Alright, so thanks very much everyone for watching here on U Urbex TV. And uh, until next time, ciao bell! And one other thing guys, I forgot to mention, don't forget to f check out Tay Official and Bouncer Bee's channel. Uh, their YouTube channel link is always in the comments. Go there, click on it, check out the channel. They got a lot more videos than I do. And, uh, and that's it. Show your support to them. Subscribe to them if you haven't either. Click the like button. Help support their channel. And uh, if you're a fellow Urbexer, hey, let me know. Give me a shout out. And um, or I'm not mean a shout out, but uh, give me a reach out to me, and uh, maybe we can collaborate a bit. All right, fellow Canadian Urbexers, we got to support each other here. All right. All right. Uh, to kind of get a gist of why we do this. We all know why I do it, because I'm nuts. But I wanted to know what other people' reasons for doing this. So I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Tay Official here why he wanted to become an urban explorer. I wanted to become an urban explorer mainly because I like getting out. I like going on adventures, get to spend time with friends, Bernie, Adam, sister, and uh, hopefully one day we could travel the world. That's, yeah. That's my goal. Because our world is so big, yeah, more than we can imagine, and there's so much here we can see. Oh yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. So, one day, all of this can be yours. Yeah. If the price is right. We shouldn't have to pay to see this stuff. We should be allowed to enjoy the history that's left behind. Whether even if it's an old abandoned house, or some mill that was used back in time for creating something. You know, it's kind of interesting that something like this can still be here in the middle of the woods. I love this. It is nice. And you know, if we had came here during the summertime, we would have been hot, the bugs would have been eating us. Yeah. It probably would have been a different scenario, but I think we would have loved it just the same. Oh yeah. And over here, we finally got him back. Now let me see if I can get him in the video here. Where is he? There he is. Uh, oh, it's beautiful down there. Can I ask you? Yes, sir. Why do you do urban exploring? I'm asking everybody. Think just, about it. Think about it very clearly. Honestly, it's, it's interesting that things that are just left behind over the years, people just forgot. And re-exploring these places I don't know it's just something we do that's right oh, yeah that's a good enough answer something we do something we do a lot of other people wouldn't do this stuff do you think it's kind of a way of us documenting history in a way yeah documenting as, our history as it's our history gone, yeah has gone through history like time frame when it was operational to People who, before that have been here probably seen like windows and then from there it just keeps over the years de keeps decaying in a way. Yeah. And we don't even know if anybody maybe have died by accident here. No idea. Probably a lot of uh, written history and a lot of online content that tells throughout the years how exactly how this place is run and if there's any people have died here or anything like that. Well, for sure. We're going to be one of those people that's going to give others an opportunity to view all this cool stuff. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. So are we ready to go up that mountain? Nope. Well, let's do it. All right. So yeah, guys, we got to make it up that mountain. It was hard coming down. It's going to be hard going up. And my battery's about to die. So I think it's perfect timing. Would well, you agree? All right. Ciao again. So you done? Done. I want to say hello to everybody. Hey guys. Go sub to my channel, TAU Official. Oh yeah, don't worry, I've been plugging you. Yeah, plug it, plug it more. Plug it. Check out my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Go follow it all. Yeah. And go check my Twitter and Instagram and my <laughs> no, not that not, one. Not that one. <laughs> okay, beat that one out. Uh, yeah, go visit all my other social media channels. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Ciao.